most successful companies today and in the future will actually learn how to create a powerful alchemy of the two. Here's how the alchemy worked for me at Airbnb. I was assigned a young, smart partner who helped me develop a dev uh, hospitality department. Early on, Laura Hughes uh, could see that I was a little lost in this habitat, so she often sat right next to me in meetings so she could be my tech translator and I could write her notes and she could tell me that's what that means. Laura was 27 years old. She worked for Google for four years and then for a year and a half at Airbnb when I met her. Like many millennial co of her cohorts, she had actually grown into a managerial role before she'd gotten any formal leadership training. I don't care if you're in the B2B world, the B2C world, the C to C world, or the A to Z world. Business is fundamentally H to H, human to human. And yet Laura's approach to leadership was really formed in the technocratic world and it was purely metric driven. One of the things she said to me in the first few months is, I love the fact that your approach to leadership is to cre create a compelling vision that becomes a North Star for us. Now my fact knowledge, as in how many rooms a maid cleans in an eight hour shift, might not be all that important in a home sharing world. My process knowledge, of how do you get things done based upon understanding the underlying motivations of everybody in the room was incredibly valuable in a company where most people didn't have a lot of organizational experience. As I spent more time at Airbnb, I realized it's possible a new kind of elder was emerging in the workplace. Not the elder of the past who actually was regarded with reverence. No, what is striking about the modern elder is their relevance, their ability to use timeless wisdom and apply it to modern day problems. Uh, maybe it's time we actually valued wisdom as much as we do disruption. And maybe it's time, not just maybe, it is time for us to definitely reclaim the word elder and give it a modern twist. The modern elder is as much an intern as they are a mentor, because they realize in a world that is changing so quickly, their beginner's mind and their catalytic curiosity is a life-affirming elixir, not just for themselves, but for everyone around them. Intergenerational improv has been known in music and the arts. Think um, Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga, or Wynton Marcellus and the young stars of jazz. This kind of business, this kind of riffing in the business world um, is often called mutual mentorship. Millennial DQ for Gen X and Boomer EQ. Uh, I got to experience that kind of intergenerational reciprocity with Laura and our stellar data science team when we were actually remaking and evolving the Airbnb peer-to-peer -peer review system using Laura's analytical mind and my human-centered intuition. With that perfect alchemy of algorithm and people wisdom, we were able to create an instantaneous feedback, feedback loop that helped our hosts better understand the needs of our guests. High tech meets high touch. At Airbnb, I also learned as a modern elder that my role was to intern publicly and mentor privately. Search engines are brilliant at giving you an answer but a wise sage guide can, actually, can offer you just the right question. Google does not understand, at least not yet, <laughs> nuance like a finely attuned human heart and mind. Over time, to my surprise, dozens and dozens of young employees at Airbnb sought me out for private mentoring sessions. But in reality, we were offering, often just mentoring each other. In some, CEO Brian Chesky brought me in for my industry knowledge, but what I really offered was my well-earned wisdom. Maybe it's time we retire the term knowledge worker and replaced it with wisdom worker. We have five generations in the workplace today, and we can operate like separate isolationist countries, or we can actually start to find a way to bridge these generational borders and it's time for us to actually look at how to change up the physics of wisdom 
So it actually flows in both directions, from old to young and from young to old. How can you apply this in your own life? Personally, who can you reach out to to create a mutual mentorship relationship? And organizationally, how can you create the conditions to foster an intergenerational flow of wisdom? This is the new sharing of